What does temperature do to a tennis ball? Sometimes the balls just feel super fast and bouncy, or the opposite, slow and flat. This could be the temperature affecting the ball. Let's do an experiment and see the difference between a hot and cold ball. Let's go get him. All right, so there you have it, our hot tennis balls and our cold tennis balls. Now let's take some measurements. Fifty degrees. Well, let's take a look at the cold ones. Two degrees. Wow. Let's have a bounce test. This is our hot ball at fifty degrees, and this is our cold ball at two degrees. we see that the hot ball bounces much higher than the cold one. To understand what's happening, there are two factors we need to look at. Firstly, the material the ball is made of. The core of the ball is rubber. This is highly elastic, so when it is deformed, it immediately generates a restoring force to return to its original shape. This restoring force generates the bounce. Secondly, we look at what the ball is filled with. Tennis balls are filled with pressurized nitrogen gas, this extra internal pressure enhances the restoring force adding to the bounce. The gas pressure inside the ball is directly proportional to temperature, so increasing gas temperature increases gas pressure and hence increases the bounce. The reverse is true when the temperature is reduced. Decreasing the temperature means less bounce. Temperature also has an effect on the rubber core of the ball. Rubber acts differently to most compounds, so when it's heated, instead of expanding, it actually contracts bring the molecular structure closer together. This increases the polymer's restoring force, increasing the bounce. Under cold conditions, the opposite is true. The rubber expands, meaning decreased elasticity and less bounce. Let's hit with these and see how they play. Ready to play. All right, let's take a look at these hot balls. Whoa. Wow, all right. Let's try this. Woof. Oh, wow, super bouncy, <coughs> super bouncy. <coughs> wow, wow. These hot tennis balls, they're definitely something. It feels like you're playing in altitude, right? It's like we're playing up in altitude, it's crazy. All right, let's now try to hit with these cold tennis balls that spend a lot of time in the freezer. Let's see. Oof, wow. Oh, that bounce stays so low. <coughs> Feels like grass court, literally. Huge difference, it makes you feel like you're on grass court where the ball just doesn't bounce at all. A little bit slower, but in terms of the height of the bounce, yeah. So if you guys want to practice your grass court game on some hard court, just stick your tennis balls in the freezer and you'll get, a, you'll get the same feeling. All right, so looking at those statistics, pretty interesting. Cold tennis balls, average speed a little bit lower, which makes sense, the balls were a lot slower. Uh, they weren't bouncing at all it literally felt like you were playing on grass. And because the balls were bouncing so low, I guess it felt okay to, to have a little bit more net clearance, so we were playing a little bit higher with the net, as opposed to those hotter tennis balls were bouncing so high, yeah, we just tempted to maybe hit a little bit closer to the net. So um, lower with the net clearance, higher with the average speed, even though we were pulling our shots back from fear of having the ball just fly out, but the average speed was still higher. Yeah, very interesting. So we've seen varying temperatures really affect tennis balls. You might need to adjust your game on court or your string tension if the balls are flying quicker in the heat or moving slower in the cold. Try and store your tennis balls in a place with a steady temperature. Try not to keep them in the car or a garage where temperatures can wildly fluctuate.